And bear. There will be a bear story tonight. You don't worry about that, people. I will get there. I decided to get a couple things out, written down. We talk about some things from the mountaintop, and then we move into the bear story. But I'll we'll have to take a break, and then download this, and then do what I got to do, and then I'll come back and get him. We will get a story tonight. Don't worry. Those of you that are bear fans, there's a lot of you out there, too. <laughs> uh, things are out of whack for me today. That's just everything. You know, I played around last night. I want to talk about a few things. They're important. Need to be scuzzed. So, those of you that know what I do, well, you're like laughing your ass off. You know what I'm doing. Those of you who don't know what I'm doing, because you're just like, you got your own little thing going on. I don't know what you got going on. Um, yeah, you get a little mad at me, and I get, uh, I got one today, I was reading, and this person was like, we need to come together as a group. You need to stop picking on people. Like, <laughs> I planted a house plant. My house plant have died. I put him out there in my garden. Put him in my garden. Buried him. I still feel, I still feel hurt for that. I miss my fucking plant. He's been with me for a long time, believe me. And where he is growing, or where he is at, there is wheat growing. Wheat. I don't have wheat in my garden. Why would I grow wheat in my garden? It just happens to be there. So gave him a Christian burial. So, that to me is a miracle sign, okay? I don't have scars on my ankle after 23 years of fucking Turks had like cut off bolt cutters. So, I got phantom scars that show up in weird spots. So, I have this scar on my side. things happen all the time. The synchronicities are insane. So, when you're whining about somebody using bad language to teach, to teach, <laughs> I just hear a person that doesn't, <laughs> you don't get it. You took the time to type that out and not walk outside and try to find out where that fucking big dipper is supposed to be. If you're not talking about the real issues, the real issues, like uh, the elite are taking over everything. It seems that UK can't get some of my videos because I talk about the Queen with the big press, right? talking about Big Brother uh, times a thousand, but it comes down to having uh, no privacy anymore, none, zero. And you wouldn't worry about me playing with somebody with bad language. I'm ex-military. Believe me, I've been in certain fields, I've done certain things. You're a child to me when you write that. I look at it and I have to laugh. Do I want to hurt people's feelings? I'm not out here to win a contest. I'm not out here to do anything other than wake people up and then communicate with those who are woken up and get them on the same page when it comes down to data and find out what, what, where we're going, what direction, because everybody's separate out there. In my log, it's in the front row. So, ah, here it is. My log says, I-L-O. No memory of that. So I'm doing everything in the job description I can, according to what I wrote in here, to myself, which requires me to do things I have to do. I have to. I have to wake this place up. I've got to fix this fucking plan. I'm a museum nerd. That's it. <laughs> raise kids. I want a house. I watch football. <laughs> I 
and now I can see everything is so fake. Fake, because all the stuff I talk about it. No North Pole, man. The Earth shifted way off kilter. I got another person who sent me something about it. you talk about plate tectonics. I go, I know all about plate tectonics. Do you believe me, dude? I was in fucking college. I can tell you about plate tectonics. I can also tell you about the fucking North Pole. I have an apron on it. So, people say you come off sometimes almost evil, angry. I know what I'm doing. I'm a strategist. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes you gotta herd cattle into a new direction. You gotta slap a few people around and say, what the fuck are you doing? Giving shout outs, saying hi. How are you doing? No, you need to be talking. You got a platform. You need to be talking. So, yesterday, I had all kinds of crazy shit going on. And so, yesterday, I was, I came back from a long walk, right? I came back from a walk. And then I realized I was out of a few things. I so, I could have jumped in my van and drove up to the store, but I got a walk. I got a walk, okay? Because I'm fasting. I ate one meal today. <laughs> one meal. And so I went walking yesterday to get a couple things to the mini mark. And as I walked, there was a man. He was staggering all over the fucking place. He was falling down. I pick him up. And he crying. Crying. Right? He crying. Now, I impact that probably last night. I had that in me still. So he's bawling. He's old man. He wasn't old. Hell, he... 55, 56, you know, long scraggly hair, wearing a field coat. He's just, I can see that he's coming off narcotics. I see him, I can see it in his face. So I help him up and I say, hey man, here's $20. Let's get you down the road. Now, you, know, you put that in your pocket. I'm gonna buy you a meal, get you something to drink. You keep that money in your pocket for a, a bus ride somewhere. You need to go to a shelter. So I said, you gotta take this money and go to a shelter, okay? I even fucking look one up. So. Here's a, he a hill that he needs to get up to get to the bus the bus area. And so I was walking him up. Now he's crying and whining about his fucking back. It's like Attica. My legs hurt, my back hurts, my foot hurts. I said, I know, dude. I had seven busted fucking vertebrae. The whole side of my foot was numb permanently. I could never feel it. So when I walked, I walked like a fucking gym. And then my ass cheek hurt every freaking day static was so bad and my whole damn buttocks was just on fire all the time and then occasionally depending on how i sleep sleep wrong i also have arthritis up here in my neck area which causes this arm to basically burn like it's on fire i know all this i told him but i'm better now 100 percent okay so I'm pushing this man, I'm pushing him. He's crying, I'm grabbing my fucking arm, I'm pulling him up the hill, I'm basically dragging him up. I said, you're gonna walk with me, dude. You're gonna make it up this hill, you're gonna get down that bus stop, and get you something to eat. And he finally, kind of straight, kind of tried to man lead up a little bit, and he, he wiped his fucking nose. I said, there you go, man, you'll be a fucking man about it now. Just stop fucking whining and stop thinking about the pain and walk through the pain. Your brain is dead. So many drugs that your body's not producing those those chemicals to help you suppress that pain, and you're just going through that that period of time. But you need to push yourself through it to get that fucking the gland working again and get that natural body body's you know endorphins and all the good stuff that comes about. And, you know, we've got these new fucking brains. It's designed for that. You have your lizard brain, a pineal gland, and you have several glands that are specifically designed for you to get better faster. It's now you get off drugs. It's now. And so this man was getting off. I could tell he couldn't afford it. So I get him up and I get him past the bus stop. And there is these two kids. I mean, young guys and kids. And I thought they were gangsters, but everybody here looks different to me. I don't know fashions, so everybody looks gangster or whatever to me. I don't know who these people are. He had a tattoo on his, on his. He had no hair and shade. He had a tattoo across his head. I thought he was gonna front me for a minute and I'm just helping this guy out. And so, but he had jumped up so fast at me before I could even, he just wanted to give me a fucking hug. He grabs my arm and pulls me in and gives me a fucking hug. He says, I love you, man. I said, I love you too. 
And then he hugs that the homeless guy. He hugs him too. He says, "Man, you get strong. You you, you get strong." And I was like, "Listen to this man. He's telling you to get strong too." <laughs> now I don't know. I, I was just coming down for like I'm not gonna lie to you, a bag of tobacco, and this all happened on the walk. And it showed me that there are people that are changed. They are getting better. Now this kid, I can tell he had sight. He was watching me and his friend, and they were they had their phones on. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool man, thank you. And so I have to help people and I have to do tough love because everybody here is getting their shit taken advantage of 100%, 10%. The queen is dead. The royal family is dead. And bred out and souls out to fucking now they're reptiles. There are leaders. King John Un is fucking dead. He's a lizard. There's a lot of dead people running this fucking government. There are assholes at that Bilderberg, whatever fucking me. Those people need to be dealt with. All of them dead. And so when I come online and I play with you and I get to see your emotions flare up, I know that you're alive. You, you didn't over-punk back and I'm punked in. You don't punk back, but you still, I can see in your eyes I'm making you upset. I know you're can handle it, okay? I, nobody else can do it like that. They heard it in the military, and they, can, they hear it, and they did it. That's why there was no, that's why I laughed my ass off. And I'm sure this person was like, who do you fucking do that? <laughs> but they gotta know. They gotta remember in Sagittarius, on 52 states, how we used to roll. We were some mean motherfuckers. <laughs> remember, I was... I was one of the first petty officers in the United States fucking Navy to have females on the ship and be in charge of females. And I, I had to push around females all the time. I was, I had to learn. I was was not raised with women. <laughs> I love them, but I wasn't raised with them. So I just want everyone to know, I'm making this quickie because I, a lot of the emails I was reading and I want to make sure people understand what I'm doing when I do these certain things. Synchronicities are coming at me like fucking rain all the time. And so I'm trying to bring a lot of people into that fucking rainstorm with me. Everyone wants to get out of the rain. No, you need to get in the rain. You get these synchronicities going, man. You gotta get away from fucking too much shit. And I'm happy you're saying I, but you got a problem to fix. We're the resistance people. Sagittarius. Great spaghetti monster. It's in the toilet. Our dimension, our place we live is in the toilet. How's he getting away with saying all this shit? That he ain't been shot yet. Who says I have it? <laughs> Maybe it's why sometimes my clocks are off. But I don't think so. I'm getting nothing but friendly smiles outside my door, and everybody's fucking being really, really nice to me. And I'm getting more thank yous than I might get one occasional person that's upset. Then I get a couple of people that come on here and they want me to, they want me to have uh, oral sex with a tree with them. And I'm like, the hell? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not sitting in a lotus position. I am who I am. So we need to. Step it up a little bit, get this place fixed. Some of you get louder and I love it, man. I'm about to give a shout out to Texas, I forget, Texas something something. That motherfucker is rolling right now. Texas, I don't know, figure it out, but he's doing a damn good job of getting information out. He's just doing it just like me, man, from a fucking couch, from a chair. So check him out, guys. I check out people all the time. Some people I mess with, some people I don't. But here we are in this together. We can do this. And by the way, I think I knocked out my power with it. 